And here we are with the last lesson dealing with choosing a research topic, steps 5, 6, 7, and 8. The fifth step of choosing a topic is to be flexible. It's common to modify your topic during the research process. You can never be sure of what you may find and where it may take you. You may find too much material and need to narrow your focus, or too little and need to broaden your focus. This is a normal part of the research process. When researching, you may not wish to change your topic, but you may decide that some other aspect of the topic is more interesting or more manageable. Keep in mind the assigned length of the research paper, project, or bibliography. Be aware of the depth of coverage needed and the due date. These important factors may help you decide how much and when you will modify your topic. Step six is to define your topic as a focused research question. You will often begin with a word or an idea, then develop a more focused interest in an aspect of something relating to that word or idea, and from there, then begin to have questions about the topic. For example, ideas or words may lead you to Frank Lloyd Wright or modern architecture. A research question could be, how has Frank Lloyd Wright influenced modern architecture? And then the focused research question is, what design principles used by Frank Lloyd Wright are common in contemporary homes? Once you feel comfortable there, we move on to step seven, which is to research and read more about your topic. Use the key words you've compiled to research the catalogs, articles, databases, and internet search engines. Find more information to help you answer your research question. You will need to do some research and reading before you select your final topic. Can you find enough information to answer your research question? Remember again, selecting a topic is an important and complex part of the overall research process. And finally, step eight is to formulate a thesis statement or to write your topic as a thesis statement. This may be the answer to your research question or a way to clearly state the purpose of your research. Your thesis statement will usually be one or two sentences that state precisely what is to be answered, proven, or about what you will inform your audience concerning your topic. The development of a thesis assumes there is sufficient evidence to support the thesis statement. For example, a thesis statement could be Frank Lloyd Wright's design principles, including his use of ornamental detail and his sense of space and texture, opened a new era of American architecture. His work has influenced contemporary residential design. The title of your paper may not be exactly the same as your research question or your thesis statement, but the title should clearly convey the focus, purpose, and meaning of your research. For example, the title could be Frank Lloyd Wright, Key Principles of Design for the Modern Home. Remember to follow any specific instructions from your instructor or your journal where you're publishing. We hope you've enjoyed this bonus section. Thank you and good luck with your progress. Okay.